So this short video covers event breakpoints. Event breakpoint is a breakpoint that suspends program execution when a particular hardware event occurs. Now the types of event breakpoints are break on reset, break on sleep, break on stack over or underflow, or break on watched up timer expired. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So we originally created the project using MCC. So it's the MCC system module which we can use to change the device configuration. This is also possible with the set configuration bits window. So we're going to look at both of these. We're also going to make sure that we can understand the diff merge feature as we change a configuration with MCC, which is also just a general feature of MPLAB X. So here we go. Let's have a look at setting event breakpoints. So what we want to do in this video is set an event breakpoint. So setting the event breakpoint is easy enough. Here I can set to break when watchdog timer has expired. But of course I must make sure to update the device configuration that the watchdog timer is in fact um, enabled. So looking for the configuration bits window, set configuration bits in debug. Here we can see the watchdog timer is off. Um, we could set it to on and it will prompt us pending changes must be programmed. So normally what you do is you generate source code to output and in fact right click and insert source code into the editor. So what it's done now is it's added it's added the config bits to the start of main. Now I'm going to undo this because in my project I'm using an MCC project and MCC actually includes config bits in the device config.c. So the watchdog time is off. I could try and uh, modify it here to on for example. Let's see what happens if we do it that way. Okay, generating code and note here even though it's the same thing there's been some change in the generated file, so I get this diff merge window, so I can accept that. Now I was here and in the device config.c and note that I can click here to go to the header file. You can see what is configured there. Let's now go to start a debug session. And the debugger is halted. So looking at the debugger console, no user program stopped. Looking at the simulator, I can see that the watchdog timer has expired and the simulator halted as a result of that. So you can see that I am in fact hitting that breakpoint. Now um, a reminder that we came here from Learn and Discover, Users Guides, and from here we looked at the hardware tool debug features by device. And for this device we used, we saw that we don't have hardware support for this. That's why we're in the simulator now, and we have the watchdog timer timeout break here. So that is the process for the event breakpoints. Thank you.